Welcome fitness friends, I'm Coach Stacy, and I'm bringing you my hit, Just Jogs and Jacks. This workout should be performed in the shallow end of your pool. We will be using two buoys and those are optional and it is high intensity so beginners can do this workout but we will be working at a more challenging pace. There's 30 second bursts of working at a challenging level, a gentle recovery, which will be quick and then back to that 30 seconds. Work to your own capabilities. Let's move right into cycle one. Here is exercise A. It's called single, single, something jog. Yeah, the something you can make it your own. So single, single, pause, single, single, pause. Or you can go single, single, double pulse. Single, single, pulse, pulse. Single, single, pulse, pulse. On those pulses, you're gonna just do a little gentle pulse, heels down. And we're gonna also be punching those buoys right and left. And you're gonna try to do double pulses with the buoys as well. Then for our exercise B, we're gonna do crisscross jack legs. So you're gonna just jack open, crisscross center, jack open, crisscross center. On those jack legs, we're gonna to try to get right forward, then left forward. And then we're gonna to try to add arms to those. So we're gonna be doing a pull down to your sides to kind of get those triceps going. You have to remember to keep those shoulders relaxed. Here's an option for less intensity, keeping the arms at the surface. Let's get ready for that A. Single, single something. So is it single, single hold or single, single double pulse? Get your feet first, then gently start adding those punches forward, right and left. And remember, do the pulse too. When you hear hit it, let's go bigger. Hit it. Once you got your rhythm, set that posture tall and make sure those heels touch down. That's your cue that it's time for a recovery. We're gonna prepare for our, our B exercise, crisscross jack legs. So open, then crisscross center, open, crisscross center. Arms are in T shape. And we're gonna bend those elbows and pull down towards your hips. Go! Focus on squeezing those inner thighs together. Recover with a gentle jog, setting up for that A, the single, single something. Go! I'd like to see that move a bit stronger. Recover and get ready for those Bs. Now remember, we're trying to do the crisscross open, crisscross open. You add your arms and try to get those shoulders deeper down. Go! Recover one more time, going back to the A, single, single something.
Okay, our last move of this cycle, 30 more seconds, and then we take a big break. Recover. Time for a longer recovery interval here. So I would like you to rest those hands and wrists, roll out those shoulders, grab a sip of water, stretch anything you need to, and keep a little gentle jog or some gentle movement going as you rest. We'll be right back for cycle two. If you're having fun and getting a great workout, I would just absolutely appreciate it if you would click the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't yet, share with your friends and family. I'm sure they'd love it too. Cycle two. Let's look at A first. This is jogs with high-low arms. Okay, so it's just gonna be any jog, but I want you to take one arm and angle it right at the surface and one arm and angle it down. So get your arms first. You'll have like your right arm going right forward, punching at the surface, and the left one you're gonna punch down towards the floor. This is gonna cause you to feel a little off balance, so you have to really engage your core. So get your arms first, add the jog once you're steady. And then here's B. This is jack and butt kicks. So you're gonna have those buoys right at the front in the center. You're gonna sweep them open as you jack open. Then you're gonna butt kick while it's wide and then you're gonna close the legs and the arms together. And you're gonna use that tall posture too. Here's an option if you wanna do one leg at a time. When you sweep those arms open to a T-shape, make sure you keep your shoulders relaxed. Here we go, A. Jogs, let's get the arms. Right arm, punch forward. Left arm, punch forward, but down at like a 45 degree angle. Get your arms going. Once you do, add your jog, at hit it, let's go. Hit it! Keep your abs in strong, shoulders down, and keep your heels down when you jog. recovery and time to set up for B, those jacks. So remember, we're going to open the legs. We're going to butt kick both heels up. We're going to land and then we're going to close the legs and you're going to sweep the arms with the legs opening and closing. Go! Squeeze the back of those thighs to get those feet up higher. recover and we're back to A. We're going to do the right angle down and the left will go straight across at the surface. So remember, we're trying to keep those shoulders down and tummies engaged. No rotation. Go! Are you ready for another set of those jack butt kicks? I can't wait. Go!
Recover, let's go one more time on each move. So set up those jogging feet, add your non-dominant arm pushing down on the angle or the more challenging side, whatever feels right to you. Go! One more 30 second interval to go before our water break. Recover. Nice job on those. Okay, it's time for a little longer recovery here. So rest the hands, get your sip of water, stretch anything you need to. If you need to pause a little longer for a, a more recovery, please do so and come back when you're ready. Cycle three coming soon. Did you know I offer PDF printables of my workouts? Yeah, you can find your favorite ones online on Etsy. Just scan that QR code or go to Etsy and search for AquaFit. Cycle three, A, high knee jog agitators. So we're gonna set up your posture and we are going to have those arms out in a T-shape and we're gonna have soft elbows. You're gonna do a high knee inward jog. I want you to rotate through the middle by keeping your abs engaged and pull those knees across your midline. Your arms are gonna stay long out to your sides to add a little resistance. Exercise B, jack legs, and we're gonna do alternating front punches. We're gonna do right lefts, and I'd like to see you using those buoys upright quickly, or you can use them sideways for a little bit more challenge. So even bringing it down deeper will make it more challenging. So pick what works for you and gives you that extra here we go. Prepare for those high knee jogs. So arms out to your sides there at the surface, shoulders down. And we're gonna bring those abs in tight and bring your knees up across your midline, a little rotation. Let's do this. Hit it. Get those arms deeper for more resistance. Small recovery. Let's get those jack legs going. And we wanna have those buoys in front for those alternating punches, either sideways or upright. And I want you to go quick on these. Go! Are you ready for another set of those high knee jogs with agitator arms? Let's set it up.
Okay, let's take a deep breath and reset and get ready for those jack legs. Try to go deeper so your shoulders stay under the water. Go! Two more intervals to go. Let's start back up with those high knees. Get those shoulders down, buoys deeper. One more interval of our jacks, and I want to see some big intensity. So get deep, shoulders back and down, jack those legs, and let's see those alternating punches. Quick, quick, quick. Go! Cover. And we just finished cycle three. Outstanding effort, everyone. Time to reset that posture. Get a sip of water, some light stretching. Remember, you got to use some gentle movement during this break. Come back when you're ready. Have you had a chance to check out my exclusive workouts on demand? No ads? Just scan that QR code to find them. Cycle four, A, jogs and alternating stirs. So we're going to do a strong jog and we're going to stir the water to make as much waves as we can. So you can feel free to stir them inward, outward, one inward, one outward. You can do them both the same directions. You can alternate them. I just want you to have fun stirring and making those waves. Second one, B, jack legs and long arm pull down. So we're going to jack out and in and we're going to pull those arms from the center down to the hips on the sides of you. Long arms so keep your shoulders down as you pull and those elbows just gently soft. Are you ready? Here's A. Jog those feet. Let's start stirring those arms gently until you hear the hit it. Hit it. You want those feet going quick, shoulders down, abs engaged, and I want to see some turbulent water. Rest. Set up for those jack legs your B exercise. Now remember those buoys are out in front of you, shoulders relaxing down, long arms, and you're gonna pull down to those hips on both sides. Try to land full feet. Go! If those pull downs are too intense, Go ahead and keep those buoys at the top and just do a chest fly in front at the surface. Rest. 
gentle recovery set up for that A. So start a light jog, get those arms ready to do some stirring. Okay, let's recover. Set up for your B. Those are the jacks again with the pull downs to your sides. Try to brace those abs even stronger this time. Last time through on exercise A, jog those feet, get the stirs ready. We're moving into our last B interval of this cycle. So that means only 30 more seconds till our big water break. Recover. Amazing job once again. Good news, only one more cycle to go. Go get that water, rest those hands, get ready. Cycle five's coming. And here is cycle five. Exercise A is a single, single pulse butt kick. So you're gonna go single, single pulse. And remember, it's two small little movements on a pulse, or it can be a hold if you prefer. And if that's too challenging, make it just single butt kicks. We're going to do the arms down and up for tricep, bicep. So you're going to bend at those elbows, and you're going to try to pulse those arms with the rhythm. Exercise B, jack, jump, jack, and lat pull down. So we're going to just go ahead and use two buoys, but you have the option of using one for a little less intensity. When you do that, you're gonna jack one time, open and then close, and you're gonna jack and lift. Set up for exercise A, the single, single butt kick pulse jog. So single, single pulse, single, single pulse. Once you got it, bring the elbows down by your sides and let's get those arms going. Hit it! Try to keep a tall posture, those arms tucked into your sides, and those wrists in a neutral, long wrist. Rest. Setting up for exercise B, so you're gonna jack open, close, then jack lift, and then close and jack 
Lyft can be a kick. Go! On those lifts of the legs, try to do a strong pull down of the buoy right down in the center, then land and then do that one jack to recover before you do another lifting jack. Recover, big breath, everyone. Set up for that A exercise, the single, single pulse, butt kicks, and those arms. Go! Remember to get those heels down on that bounding foot. Here's your second set of B. Here's those jacks. Remember those buoys right in front in the center. One or two buoys again. One jack close and then jack lift. Go! This move is a little more challenging. So if this is too much for you today, just continue to jack and do a pull down every so often in that center. We've made it to our last A exercise, single, single pulse butt kicks and those single, single pulse arms. Let me see what you got. Lots of intensity, everyone. Go! You're getting stronger and better. So hang in there, everybody. Just breathe. You got this. Guess what? Last, last interval. Yes, it's true. Those jack legs. All right, get those buoys set up. Jack out in and jack lift and land and pull down strong. Let's see intensity. Go! Recover. And can you say, woohoo, we did it. We did it. Way to go. I never doubted you. High five, everyone. Let's get some water and then it's time for our recovery stretch. Let's begin by standing in a wide stance, grounded. And we're just gonna circle big out to the right and out to the left. You're trying to do a little side bend there, opening the range of motion in those shoulders. Bring the arms out long to your sides in a T-shape and then try to extend through the right and left arms one at a time. Keep the feet grounded wide and you're doing more of a side bend reach on each of those sides. Now we're going to go into those legs to stretch. So keep the buoys in front with those wide plie like feet. We are going to go sitting down and up into the legs. Feel free to turn those toes out even more. 
Let's stretch the chest and back muscles by bending forward, bringing the buoys together in front. So you're round. And then we're gonna open by dragging the buoys out to the sides and lifting through the chest. I want you to round and tuck the chin and then lift and then round. Just keep going in your range of motion. Last one, and then step your left foot behind the right planted foot. As you do, we're gonna go ahead and rotate and look towards that toe that's behind and drag those buoys over to that side to help keep you balanced. It's a good stretch for your hips. It's also good balance skills work. Step in and rotate to the other side while keeping a tall spine. Remember, the right foot goes behind the left. Keep the knees soft. Unwind and step in. And in your best tall posture, you're gonna bring your right leg, then your left leg up, and they are straight leg lifts with the toes tucked in towards you. Buoys can be at your sides if shoulders are down or out to your sides in a T-shape as long as those shoulders are relaxed. We're trying to just work on stretching those hamstrings. Keep those toes pointed inward. Me a few more and remember stay tall no arching in the low back then either set one buoy to the side or just let it drift off for a moment we're going to hold it with both hands in front and we're going to sink down into a small lunge there and we're going to bring the buoy overhead and we're gonna bend those elbows. This is a stretch for those triceps. While you're here, we're gonna just work on our balance skills so, and while those hips are opening. And then we're also gonna tuck those elbows in to work those triceps, giving them a good stretch. Gently bring that buoy back in front of you at the surface height. And you're just gonna hold it there to keep your balance. And that back heel, I want you to lift it as high as you can and then plant it down to the floor as deep as you can. High and then plant it all the way down. We're doing a stretch for those calf muscles so you want full range of motion. Allow that back foot to come up behind you in a butt kicker, but stationary. Bring it up and hold. Use the front arm to help keep you balanced by holding onto that buoy or the wall. Set that foot down, step in, switch to the other foot behind you into a small lunge. We're gonna do those triceps overhead stretches again. Now, if this is too much for your shoulders, you can always just do one arm at a time. This way here, we're accomplishing both of them and we're gonna give them a good stretch while we stay here for a little while longer. Remember, shoulders relaxed, elbows tucked in. Lower the buoy back in front, holding it with both hands. And that back heel now, you're gonna lift and lower. And when we lower, we lower it all the way back down to the floor so we can get a good stretch on those calf muscles. Last one, then bring that back foot up behind with that knee bent for that butt kicker hold. This is a great one for the quads. Try to find that balance. Mm -hmm. 
set it down, and we'll finish off with a stretch for those hands. So both hands on the ends of your buoy come into a small stagger stance. And I want you to open those fingers up as wide as you possibly can. Give a good stretch to those hands. Keep your shoulders relaxed and just breathe. Then release your buoy, a big shoulder roll, and I have to say, way to go. You guys rocked it today. Can't wait till our next workout. A wave of applause. Thanks so much for all of your support. I appreciate your comments, your likes, and your subscribing to my channel. If you want ad-free workouts, check me out on Vimeo for workouts on demand. And I also have my PDF printables if you're looking for more with no electronics needed. See you again real soon. Bye-bye.